What's it like to sell your home? First, your agent, me, will write you up a CMA, a comparative market analysis. This will show you the activity in the neighborhood, what's on the market and has been sitting, any price adjustments around you, what's sold, how much they sold for, what did they sell for compared to what did they list for. In addition to a CMA, they're gonna walk the home and take the condition of the home in consideration with what's going on in the neighborhood and come up with a suggested price. A good way to get started is a pre-sale inspection. This will give you a good idea of what buyers might see on their inspection and also it'll give some comfort to buyers because you can provide that with all the listing information. It shows them that you've taken an interest in the condition of your home and kind of plant seeds on what to expect. Next will be staging and photos. We'll consult with you about decor and what to put up and what maybe to leave out. How to make the home look great for the photos and the showing. Your agent will pay to have a professional photographer come in. These guys have a lot of editing tricks to plant seeds in people's minds and make them look a little better than they are sometimes. Many agents like myself will also like to do some social media posting and just kind of build up some hype around the home. Once the photos are done, before it actually goes active on the MLS, there'll be a little period of pre-marketing. This is something that not every agent does, but for myself and my team, we have an email campaign, a mailer campaign, and a few other back-end things that we do. Tell the neighbors, look, this is coming on the market. Next, you'll go active. Your home will now be in the inbox of thousands of people whose search criteria match your home. We usually like to do an open house in the first weekend to drive traffic in. Even if it doesn't bring a buyer, the signs let people know, hey, this home is for sale. And then you'll start to see some showings getting scheduled. Well, we usually like to make that as open as possible. There are some limitations you can put so that people aren't barging in on you while you're on your Zoom meetings. Soon enough, you'll start to receive a few offers. This is where the negotiations begin. Once you and the buyer come to an agreement, you'll execute a contract. Once you're under contract, you'll be in the option period. And as a seller, you kind of just got to hurry up and wait. The buyer will probably schedule an inspection. Based on those findings, they might have further inspections like a roof inspection or a pool inspection or have an electrician out to look at a pan. This is where the second phase of negotiations will happen. Most buyers will either ask for you to repair certain things or just for some money back at closing. Next, if they're using some kind of a loan, there's going to be an appraisal. Even if it appraises low, it's not the end of the world. There are still a few things that can be done. Assuming all is good and you move forward, you're just pending. Be ready to supply your agent or your title company with any documents they may need to just keep the process going. Finally, you get to the closing table. The title company will walk you through the closing documents. You'll sign in all the appropriate places and boom, your home is sold.